Hey everyone, what's up? It's Zach. I'm here with another YouTube video today. Um, today I'm talking about a U.S. service member that was killed in Afghanistan and two more that were injured. You know, I don't see a lot of people talking about this. Um, it just makes the big headlines, but even then it's just like going real fast across the bottom of the screen. So I just want to take some time to talk about this. You know, a lot of people get killed in Afghanistan and nobody knows it. Instead of the family members who get notified about the person who got killed. So, you know, it's like, you know, people are there fighting, but we don't know that they get killed. Because I guess the media don't have time to show us or talk about it. And they just want to blast all the bad stuff, like all the shootings and drug deals going on, which is fine. People would need to know about that. There's someone on a loose, you know, put their description out there. But take a minute, two minutes, even five minutes, ten minutes, you know, just give the people that are risking their lives every day. If they get shot or die, you know, give them some time to, you know, put them in the news. Give them some spotlight, you know. I mean... They're over there fighting, risking their lives every day for millions of people that they don't even know. And they don't get no respect for it. In fact, a lot of people get criticized or get no respect. And, I mean, and a lot of them come back or homeless or don't have no money or, you know. And some people say they join, some people join the military because they can't do nothing else or... Whatever, okay. It takes a lot of courage to go into the military. I'm going to tell you that right now. It takes a lot of courage. For one, you're leaving your family. Or friends. Okay. Two, you don't know where you're going. Three, you're going to have to do... I mean, you don't... You don't even know if you're going to make it over there. Four, you're going to have to do all that training. Five, you're going to have no contact with nobody else, more than likely. Six... You know, even if you don't go on the front lines and fight, you're still going to have issues. You know, you still don't know if someone's going to attack your base wherever you're staying. You don't know what's going to happen. And if you're on the front lines, which would be a seven, you know, you're going to, I mean, you're fighting every day for your life. And you just don't know if you're going to get shot that day or not. You know what I mean? So for people saying that... They can't do nothing else. To me, military is one of the hardest jobs there is. So for the people saying they can't do nothing else, they ain't got no education or whatever. That's how y'all feel, but these people are over there fighting every day for their life. So that's one of the hardest jobs to me. So I just wanna take this time to put this in here. Um I didn't get their names because they don't want to put their names out till the uh, next of kin is notified about it. Um, I just want to take the time to recognize these service members, men and women. Um, give my thanks to them. You know, troops, law enforcement, fire, EMS. I always have, they always have my support, you know. You, know, you can't let one bad... Army, National Guard, Air Force, or cop, or fire, EMS, ruin your whole per perception about first responders and military, you know. You know, they always have my support. Um, I just want to say thank you to all the troops, police, fire, EMS, if any of y'all watching or will be watching this. I want to say thank you for everything you do, and stay safe.